joining me. This is Sandra. I promised you about a month ago when I reviewed the Boom Cindy Joseph's Cosmetics that I would try the mask and the silk, both of these products here, for about a month before I could really tell you whether or not I like them. Well, I love them. I really do. I've been using them. I love the Hawaiian wildflower honey that is in this product and also uh, this product that has beeswax and pollen in it. They're really great products and I will keep using them until they are empty. So I just wanted to let you know I have used them for a month and I really like them. I'm wearing the boom sticks right now for my no makeup makeup look. So I just like them and I promised that for you. Today I really want to talk about uh, a man whose articles I've been reading and I watching a couple of his videos. Dr. John Brady, who is a clinical professor of psychology at Harvard University. He has done years and years of study about brain growth and exercise. He says in a very simple way that exercise is miracle grow for the brain. It helps us improve our motivation. It helps us lessen our anxiety and depression. It helps us open up our brains to learning and keeps our brains more plastic. Now, it's the frontal part lobe right here that really is called the CEO of our brain. And when that part of the brain is uh, working properly, we are able to absorb more knowledge. We are able to send signals or it's able to send signals to the rest of our brain so it keeps us healthy. But I have always loved exercise. I've never liked going to the gym, but I, I do get out. But sometimes I have to tell you the older I am and now for the past 17 years that I have been a writer, sometimes I'm very sedentary because I am sitting in front of my computer longer perhaps than I should be. But it's because once the words and the ideas start flowing, as when you're a writer, you can lose them very easily. And I have done that. One time my dog wanted to go out, so I stopped everything and I had words flowing from my brain that came from God. I don't know, it didn't come from my brain, but it was really good, good writing. And I thought, oh, I hate to leave it, but I have to stop it. So I pushed the key on my computer and I accidentally pushed the delete button. Well, that wonderful part of one of my books never happened <laughs> because it was gone forever and I, no matter how hard I tried, I could never recreate that wonderful page of dialogue that I had written. Dr. Rady says that exercise and the prefrontal part of our brain turns on our attention system, our motivation, and our memory. And isn't it wonderful that exercise is free? Even if you are confined in a chair and you can't go out and walk on your own, you can still exercise by moving your arms, by stretching your muscles, by just, you know, creating some type of movement within those parts of your body that you can move. A case in point, and, and I really didn't think about this much until I started reading his work. My husband has always driven me crazy because I am very laid back, I'm quiet, I'm thoughtful, I'm in my head a lot thinking, and my husband is one big kinetic ball of energy. He can't sit still in bed, he throws his legs about. Um, when he sits down to watch television, he's up and down, he's up and down, he clicks the remote, and it absolutely drives me insane sometimes. But now that I have been studying these studies and reading them, I realized that my husband is 90 years old, he has excellent posture, has no joint problems, he has no memory problems, and he is still quite active at his age. And yet his brother, and he lived in New York his whole life, where he walked a lot. And yet his brother moved to California, got married and had children. But in California, because 
there are very few places you can walk, he and his wife, mainly when they go out anywhere, they get in the car and they drive to that place. So therefore, in juxtaposition with my husband who lived in New York for many, many years and we live here and, and we do get out and walk, and his brother never walks. And he has been diagnosed with late stage Alzheimer's and is now unfortunately in a nursing home even though he is six years younger and came from the same mother. So it does make sense, doesn't it? That if exercise stimulates our endorphins, stimulates the frontal part of our brain that sends signals out to all the rest of our brain, it makes sense that if you don't move, you lose it. But if you move, you might be able to overcome some of the genetic things that you are predisposed to have. Because I am sedentary and I am a writer, I think quite possibly what has saved me all of these years that I've always had a pet. I've always had a dog that I have had to walk. And I get out now here in South Beach about three times a day and then my husband and I, if we're not going out, we take a nice evening stroll with the dogs. And I honestly think, even though I have to force myself, and I feel kind of ashamed because my husband is rearing and ready to go all the time, but I have to force myself even sometimes to get out and walk the dog. But once I'm out there, I feel wonderful. And I, I, when I come back, I feel energized and I feel good. So there is something too. If you don't use it, you lose it. If you don't use it, you lose your, your physical body and the ability to have everything working well and you lose your brain power if you don't get out there and exercise and walk. You know, do crossword puzzles, do whatever you can in the house to help stimulate your brain and keep it working. Go shopping at Target, go to the mall, um, get out and have lunch with friends. But just getting out and socializing in a community, exercising, walking, Anything you can do just to keep moving, I think is really a good thing from what everything that I've read. And I'm going to put Dr. Rady's link below so that if you're interested in more of the things that he has to say, you can check it out for yourself. Thank you for coming. Uh, I hope you liked my positive review on Boom and my positive review on our brains. Let's keep them young. You know, that's not the only thing other than our face that we want to keep young. Take care. Thank you for coming, and uh, hope you'll join me again. Have a great day.